first thing you'll need to do obviously before doing a U-turn is to be in the leftmost lane. In this case, I'm here since this is a spacer lane. Slow down a bit and make sure you do your verifications in front to make sure there's nobody coming from the other direction. Like in this case, we have this cyclist here. Since a U-turn is a 180 degree turn, we have to turn the wheel almost all the way to the left, sometimes all the way, depending on the width of the median. If the median is narrower, turn it all the way. If it's wider, turn it a bit less. Now here's the most important part, where you have to look. And this is probably the most common mistake with new drivers, they're always looking in front when turning. Don't look here, look here. In other words, don't look at where the car is pointed, look at where you want to go. Students tend to always have their head aligned with the front of the car. Your head should be pointing this way, not pointing where the front of the car is. I'll discuss this later in a video about vision. Now another important part, which is not absolutely necessary, but which will make it easier, is to let the steering wheel slide between your hands while accelerating out of the turn. The wheels will straighten themselves more smoothly this way. Also, before doing a U-turn, be aware of signs prohibiting them, like this one, which means specifically no U-turn. But even if there isn't this specific no U-turn sign, there will be situations when you won't be allowed to do it, like when you have these kinds of signs that prohibit a left turn, since when you're doing a U-turn, you're always turning left in countries where you drive on the right, that is. You also can't do a U-turn by stepping on a solid line. Check your local laws and rules for more restrictions, because this can vary a lot from place to place. I hope you liked this video. Like and subscribe if you want. If you have any questions or suggestions, post them in the comments. Thanks for watching. Thank you.